Yes, I'm, I'm ready. It's Halloween time. Uh, all right. Shelby Farms Park is hosting its spectacular event, Spooky Night. Yeah, it includes headless horsemen, hay rides, a haunted trail, and zombie laser tag. Now, Jonathan Edwards, he's been standing by there live yeah. at Shelby Farms Park to explain. Good morning, Jonathan. How are you? Doing well. How are you today? I'm doing all right. So, what is the most scariest thing to do out there? Uh, most scariest definitely would be our Haunted Trail. It's a 0.62 mile uh, walk through the Haunted Woods that ends in our new Haunted Barn this year. Uh, we say it's 12 and up. It's up to the parents' discretion, but it's definitely got a lot of spooks and scares. Less cool looking, more we're going to scare you to death. You're already scaring <laughs> yeah. me with the costume right there. And it's daytime. I yeah. know, and the zombies that are out there with you right now. What else can folks expect out at Spooky Night? We have a really incredible lineup. Uh, definitely want to take advantage of our zombie paintball hay rides. That's uh, jumping on. We have four um, five-ton army trucks with turret-mounted paintball guns. You're going on a 20-minute hay ride and shooting 30 to 40 live zombies that come out of the woods. You shoot them. They don't shoot back. Uh, it's an all-ages event. Um, we also have our zombie laser tag, typically for the younger folks, 10 and under. Uh, and then we also have our family hay rides around the park and our headless horseman hay ride, along with our nocturnal nature hikes, which is more of an educational experience through the park. <laughs> and folks will be able to enjoy some great food out there. You got the spooky food trucks. Absolutely. Love the spooky food trucks. As I'm walking through the trail fixing everything, I make my rounds and stop by every about every hour uh, and hit up all of the different trucks got the chili bowl uh, great new addition this year uh, lemonade stands corn dogs whatever you want we've got it out here uh, so come out and enjoy some great family fun and some good food at the same time uh, all right so what are some of the hours and times that people can come on by Absolutely. We've got four weekends remaining, Fridays and Saturdays in October, plus Thursday the 22nd and then the Thursday the 29th. Ticket booth is open from 7 to 10 p.m. Um, and we've got uh, movies in the park as well. So as you're waiting in line, we've got movies on the big screen this weekend. We have Goonies weekend after that, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and finishing it off with Hocus Pocus. So come out, great family fun, get around the bonfire and enjoy a good time at Shelby Farms Park and Spooky Nights. You guys got some classics yeah. going on yeah. out there. And Linda Blair's on his shoulder. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> I know, right? So people who are out there to kind of like go through the trails, the haunted trails, are they going to have to like kind of dodge these zombies that are around you right now? Absolutely. So just to give you a preview, we have zombies, we have Snow White, we have a van that you've got to go through. That's everybody's worst field, uh, fear. And then we also, uh, we incorporate the clowns, of course. So we're going to play on everybody's senses, uh, have a lot of fun with it, and uh, make sure that uh, you come out of here with a good scare, uh, but have a good time at the same time. Thanks so much, Jonathan. We appreciate you for joining us this morning. Sounds good. Yes, you want to get I'm going to be there Saturday, actually. Yeah, right. I'll be there Saturday night. I don't know okay. what time, but I, I'm out there Saturday night working. Okay, okay. Well, I can't I, wait. I, I'll come out. Yeah, will you go out through the haunted yes. house with me? I've been begging for people to go. I will, but I'm going to be like, <laughs> Liz, behind you. Please, please. Well, coming up, you're invited to spend an evening with former Tennessee Governor Winfield Dunn. Yep, yeah, but first, calling all local survivors of heart disease and stroke. You are needed for the Go Red for Women casting call. How you can participate is coming up next.